My name is Ray Comenzo. I'm a hematologist from Tufts Medical Center in Boston. And I'm speaking to you from San Diego at ASH 2018. I'm going to describe the results of a diagnostic trial which we have done in patients who have smoldering multiple myeloma or monoclonal gammoplia of undetermined significance called MGUS. In both cases, patients have to have the lambda isotype, not the kappa isotype, and they have to have abnormal lambda light chain genes. What we try to do in the trial is seek AL amyloidosis very early. The trial is called the SAVE trial after that phrase. And it's important to remember that patients who have AL amyloidosis present with heart and kidney involvement that is quite significant and can lead to very, very morbid consequences. What we do know is that patients who have lambda smoldering myeloma or lambda MGUS have genes that encode their lambda light chains. We also know that there are a limited number of specific genes that cause lambda AL amyloidosis as opposed to myeloma. And those five genes can be sorted as high risk for AL, intermediate risk for AL, or low risk for AL. So, the SAVE trial is an internet-based trial in which patients contact us from all over the country and sign a consent form, are screened, we send kits to them by UPS, and they have blood drawn at a time when they normally have their blood tested, and they send those green top tubes to us with a UPS uh, shipping tag which we provide. The trial is done at no cost to patients. Subsequently, when we identify the lambda light chain gene in each patient's case, we inform them and their doctor of our findings. If the gene is high or intermediate risk for AL, we suggest that the patient have what's called a fat pad aspirate looking for AL and that attention be paid to the patient's heart and kidneys. Thus far, we have screened 21 patients and have identified one patient who had smoldering myeloma who actually had systemic AL amyloidosis. Fortunately, the patient was minimally symptomatic and could go on to very effective treatment and is in a complete remission now. In fact, over half of patients with AL amyloidosis present with heart involvement, many of them with some degree of heart failure. We're trying to save patients the ordeal of getting sick by diagnosing them early. Information on the SAVE trial can be found in clinicaltrials.gov and uh, you can also uh, contact me at Tufts Medical Center and we'll provide information to you. I really appreciate the involvement of Myeloma Crowd in allowing us to get the word out. Thank you.